It's an exciting time for us to be independent and to be making music and communicating more directly with our audience. Um, you know, making music on our own schedule and feeling like we're uh, a little more free. You know, artistic freedom's a good thing, so we're excited about it. We need to come up with like a declaration of independence yep. type of thing. <laughs> yeah. And then we can have fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. So. We the people <laughs> of Switchfoot. <laughs> for the people, by the people. So what's what's on the horizon for Switchfoot? Are you recording now, or how soon can we expect to hear some new music? Uh, we are actually, yeah, we are recording at this. We just flew in. We were recording a couple days ago, and then we're going to, after this show, we're going to go back and start recording again. So we're trying to figure out, you know, this new album and, you know, figure out how it works. It's cool because we have our own studio in San Diego and we built and so we can come in there and record any time and being independent, you you know, you, time is, you know, you have a, as long as you want to record and stuff. So it's been great. Okay. Um, the current single right now is This Is Home. Uh, can somebody explain the, the song to us? Yeah, sure. Um, this, this Is Home is a song that um, is in the movie Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. And uh, uh, John was uh, kind of, we, well, a bunch of artists were asked to write songs for it, and then, you know, they they uh, picked ours, and then, you know, John was rereading the book and stuff and kind of tapping into those childhood memories, you know, of when, you know, your dad used to read the book to you as a kid and stuff. Um, and, yeah, it's, uh, it's on the soundtrack. What else about? We were, we were really honored when we were asked to write for the movie because C.S. Lewis means a lot to us. And there's like this um, sense of longing that he writes into so many of his books, whether it's the Space Trilogies or the Chronicles of Narnia, that the idea that we're created for something beyond what we see. And, and uh, so he tried to write that into the song. And for me, the, it, it comes together in the, the pre-chorus, uh, created for a place I've never known, which I think really for me captures the feeling that I think we all f have felt many times in our lives. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, last question. In, uh, you're going hanging out on tour in the fall. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the tour? Yeah. Um, we've been dreaming up this benefit for Habitat for Humanity for a while. We had the chance to build houses with them and, and work alongside some incredible families that are really in need of housing. And this tour, the Music Builds Tour, is a really diverse lineup of artists that care about trying to make a difference in the local communities where these shows are and hopefully inspiring people to get involved long after the show's over. So if you don't know about Habitat for Humanity, check them out online. And if you want to support them, come to the uh, Music Builds Tour. Um, not only will your money encourage uh, the building, but if you have time to give as well, you can donate time any, any weekend. Uh, they'll take you and put a hard hat on you, put a hammer in your hand.